Warning, this is not a how-to video. This is how I do what I do. And sometimes you might not want to do what I do. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a Patriot's Touch. Today, I got a 2006 Chevy HHR, and it's intermittently losing its power steering. It happened to me once so far when I was driving it, and it's, I know you, you know, you think, uh, you don't need power steering, and you don't, you don't need power steering to, to uh, drive a car, but it's a real bitch to drive this car without the power steering. It's real hard to drive, to be honest with you, and my, my wife drives it a lot. And I don't want her to get stuck without power steering. So we're going to be changing the power steering pump today. Power steering motor, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, check it out. Let's start. Uh, let's get. Let's take a look under the hood and see what we have to work with. Hood. Work with. Pa power steering. Where's the power steering at under here? Uh, let's see. Where's that power steering at? Oh, see, you see. I'm, I'm just messing with you. There's, there's nothing under the hood that has anything to do with the power steering on this car. It's actually literally under the steering wheel. So we get to close the hood. And let's get inside the car. Check out what we got, uh, what we got to replace. All right. All right, guys. Welcome to underneath the dashboard of my HHR, 2006 HHR. Now, from what I get, you start by you loosen up these two. They're seven millimeters. I don't even know if I have seven millimeters here with me. Lay up. I think you're right. I think you're all sevens. Yeah, sevens. Loosen up these two sevens. I have to say, folks, it's literally the middle of January, January 13th, Friday the 13th. Ooh. It's middle of January and we have 50 degree weather today. I just want to count my uh, my blessing because I know we're probably going to end up getting walloped pretty soon. All right, basically just pop this off. Toss it over there. All right, now we just went from a we went from a seven, looks like a 10 millimeter now. Yep. It's like four tens. All right, I see the motor already, it's right here. And like I said, it this motor doesn't, it didn't totally fail on me, it just intermittently cuts out. So I definitely want to get it changed out. Right, looks like there's two bolts that bolt the motor on. And there's that zip tie. I guess that zip tie is for the wire. I don't know what that zip tie is for. But all I know is the new one comes with a zip tie. So, so we'll change it out. That looks like it's a 13. Two thirteens, my bad. Maybe it just falls out. No, but it does turn. Let's see. I guess it like spins halfway out, so it just pops out. Yeah, that zip tie is for the wire, it looks like. Because it's wrapped around and it's holding the wire in place. Alright, let's cut this bitch. Mm. 
and just like that, two bolts and a plug. So yeah, here's the motor that I just ordered. Just came in the mail from uh, Rock Auto, and I and I didn't get a I didn't even get a magnet from the son of a bitch. Ninety one dollars for this motor, and I didn't even get a magnet. Check me out on this video for any kind of knowledge. There's the part number. It's a GM number. Alright, All right, folks. Not only did it come with the zip tie, it came with also a, a rubber O-ring. It has to go around here to seal the body to the um, steering shaft. And it comes with this really, really neat smelling grease. It almost smells like butterscotch. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. Yeah. All right. Basically, it's it's literally plug and play. I mean, you're gonna get this back in there, tight, tighten up two bolts, and just plug it in. This is it's pretty easy. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that. I'm probably gonna jinx myself, but we'll see. Future's future's near. We'll see in the near future. That's for sure. All right. It's like a little mini spline that has to line up, which it just did for me. And just get the bolt started again, once again. There's that little bitch. And there's um, the little guy at the bottom, which I'm going to have to struggle a little bit to put in, but it's doable. Actually, you know what? Let me try something. Put it on there. Switch it over to in. <laughs> Voila. Let's see if I, got the, if, I got, if I got the skills today, folks. Probably not. It'll probably fall, most likely. Mm. Comment down below if you think it's going to fall before I, before I get it started. If you commented, you were right. Mm. All right, let's try that again. Alright, and that's it. And I'm basically just gonna basically rinse and repeat, but I wanna All right, now that this is everything's tight and snug, I wanna try it real quick. Let's see how good it works, see if it works. It better work. $91 without a magnet. At least I gotta get something. Alright, let's give it a shot. Nice. Not only does it work, but I noticed there was a little bit of a whine coming from that other that other unit. So perfect success. All right, let me put everything back together. And I'll I'll be back with you guys. Well, that was quick. Oh, it took about an hour, maybe. Nice warm day. I think I'm gonna go wash the Jeep.
fix the HHR, wash the Jeep. But like I said before, we are in the middle of January and it, it went from 50, 51 degrees, it was the high today, down to 20 degrees in a matter of a couple of hours. So yeah, it's getting a little chilly. So if you like the video, please like, share the videos, subscribe to the channel. It really helped things out. It would really help us out with the algorithm. Uh, we're on most of the social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. We'll see you next time on a Patriot's Touch. Burr. And it's intermittently, 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 it's intermittently losing its power steering. Yeah, no.